Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we'll be doing a Zara haul. It's recently become pretty important to me with obviously this whole current situation that's going on worldwide um, to provide some videos to you guys that have more affordable yet quality pieces that you guys can use and carry throughout your wardrobe for years to come. So let's get into it. I was at the Hermes store and I got my Balenciagas. So for me, when I shop fast fashion stores, I usually go with a purpose in mind so I'm not over consuming. So I will go on the website and I will type in directly what I'm looking for. And this time I was looking for some like really good knit tops and some classic denim jeans. So don't play with me. This color goes crazy. This is such a pretty soft nude color. I really have to be careful when I say nude because clearly my nude is chocolate brown. A white girl's nude is something different. I feel like this is going to be flattering on a lot of skin tones. I wanted crop tops, but I like that this one comes a little bit longer because not all the time you want to show like, I don't know, your abs might not be poking that day. <laughs> I like how it comes high neck. It looks really good with um, chains and stuff, like layered necklaces. In order for me to find basics from them that last a while, I usually have to spend a bit more. So like Zara basics, I notice if I spend under like maybe $15, the quality is just not there but this piece here was 25 and I can just tell like the knit is really nice and it's gonna wash well and on that same train of like the little knit tops um, which is again what I was talking about in my trends video um, I picked up this classic black one here this one comes a little bit more cropped um, but a really nice uh, high neck as well too I also picked that same one up in the white version as well too I believe these ones I cut the tags uh, these ones were going for $20 I just wanted knit tops like this because a lot of the ones that I had that were from garage like the one I'm wearing right now like they're more of like cottony and they just I don't know I just feel like they can sometimes read a bit more casual but like these knit tops can kind of be dressed up a little bit more all of those tops I got in a size small which is usually my normal size once the top has stretch in it so I have some denim to change your life okay again back to the trend of really loose like oversized relaxed denim I wanted a pair that was loose in the leg and the thigh but just snatched me in the waist and the butt and like these like these do it I'm really shocked that I found them on Zara high-waisted white pair which fits like a dream I fit into the size 6 which is uh, equivalent to a size 28 in these jeans they're beautifully high-waisted they just really like hold you nicely around your smallest part they skim the bum but then they flare out into kind of this like straight flare kind of look. I don't know. I think they're really cool. They, Zara just calls them a wide leg. Simple throughout the leg, no rips, and then some like slight distressing. For years, I've always had problems like finding good white jeans to wear in the summer. And I noticed, honestly, my legs are a bit thicker, which I've spoken about before. And I just personally don't love the look of them in like a fitted white skinny jean. It just... I don't know, I just don't think it's flattering on me. But, I mean, if you're a lover of skinny jeans, do you boo? But I, I love a straight leg on mine. I would love to get this style in a complete slim leg. This would be so pretty. This one was going for $60, $59. This has to be my favorite pair in this entire haul. Like, after those fit so outstandingly, I had to go back for a light wash pair. This pair is also a wide leg, size 6, which is size 28, and I loved the ripped knees on these. Like, they just look so good. I'm really, really happy. And then they also have the distressed hem. It's literally the perfect light wash, which is just really hard to come across. And I'm just really shocked with this denim. Like, it's, they're again that like kind of 100% cotton denim that feels like vintage Levi's like the one I'm wearing shocked at the price point shocked at the quality and shocked at the fit like I basically don't really have to tailor these so I'm really really over the moon with them and that's why like I had to go back for more because so far like some of you guys know like I love to spend money on denim and so far my all-time favorite fit is like are my helmet langs and these are like a close runner-up if not more than them right now just because like they're a little bit more on trend but crazy I can just tell these are gonna wear really really nicely throughout the years after I got that I had to stock stock 
than for the stock in the black pair. It was just, it was not coming back and I was like, where's my size six? So when I link these things down below for you guys, honestly, just like put them in your wish list. And if your size is sold out, they honestly could come back in stock. I'm pretty sure like Zara is going to be doing their sale soon, which I was just like, oh, should I buy them? Should I wait? But I'm like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to fight people. I really, I don't have the patience. <laughs> Same kind of wide leg, high waisted, and it has a rip on the thigh and then a rip on the knee. So that's the thing about the different colors. They have rips in different places, if you notice, like on the website. So specifically, even though they're all wide leg, these two styles are under the same name. And then the white pair is like a different style altogether. But they're still under like the wide leg section. Yeah, and then again, the uh, hem of the pant is distressed. I just really want these to like wash out and fade a bit more. Um, then it'll have the desired look that I want, but I'm pretty sure it will. It already kind of somewhat looks like that. Boop, boop, boop. I was really torn. So again, a majority of the time, I'm a small on top as long as there's stretch, but there's barely stretch in, any, in this top at all. So I had to size up. So if you are busty or broad by any chance, please size up one or two sizes in this top. I could barely make it into it. It just has this like really, really cool cutout. My neck as well too. It's very similar to the other black one I got, but it's a little bit longer in length. Um, and I just like that little added detail. And these tops, like, honestly are in rotation so much that I'm like, sometimes they're in the laundry and I, I could use additional similar pairs. I'm in the process of returning the size small right now. And, like, I like the way the waist fits, like, around the band. But the band has no stretch. Like, why'd they have to do that? I don't know. They really should have made this, like, elasticated. So... You could slip in and out of it easier, but this top is hard to get in, but it's cute once it's on. It's kind of annoying that the medium band slightly like lowers because it's in the bigger size, but it's better that than me ripping the size small. So, and then I also picked up this oversized knit striped sweater. This is so cute with this like high neck, but it can like unzip and then you can have it like on your shoulder. Aaron's vibe like I really really love this um who inspired me for this Allegra Shaw like she's I seen it on her and I was like girl that is so cute this one I had to stock as well too I feel like maybe she kept selling it out but it was so cute on her I had to pick it up yeah and this was $60 that was my Zara haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it inspired you to find some good quality pieces on the high street is that what the British call it click my head to subscribe and watch these other videos you may have missed and follow me on instagram so we can chit chat have a good time like we usually do and click the bell so you know when i post weekly videos i love you guys so much and take care